GM CEO Mary Barra was back in Washington today facing angry lawmakers about GM's mishandling of ignition defects. GM has recalled a record 20 million vehicles in North America this year, 9 million related to the ignition defect. Lawmakers asked Barra whether she could truly change GM's culture. There's a story um, today in Bloomberg Business Week about a whistleblower who apparently tried to bring these problems to the attention of the company and lost his job as a result. The previously referenced article by Bloomberg <clears throat> notes that uh, Cortland Kelly, who worked on the Cavalier, the predecessor to the Cobalt, raised questions about a defective fuel line. <clears throat> he had to continue to do that, even threatening uh, and moving forward with whistleblower actions. This was referenced on page 93, Mr. Lucas, of your report. Okay, that was Representative Tim Murphy. He chairs the panel that is leading the GM investigation, and he joins me right now from Capitol Hill. Welcome, Representative Murphy. Um, we heard you reference, of course, the, the Bloomberg Businessweek article that got into uh, the whistleblower and the sort of uh, lack of communication there at the company. What's your biggest concern right now about GM in that uh, it seems as though no senior, senior top management were alerted to just exactly how bad this problem was? Well, I, uh, I said the whole report should have been subtitled, uh, Don't Assume Malfeasance When Incompetence Will Do. And that's basically what they were saying, that there were layers and layers of incompetent, insensitive people who were not gathering the information and sending it around as they should. Uh, we raised a lot of questions about why that was. Uh, they seemed to present the idea that it was a culture within GM where it's a wink and a nod uh, approach. Okay. Uh, and blamed it on the, the, the GM culture. <clears throat> I'm not sure I totally buy that firing 15 people out of 210,000 is going to change that. Uh, time is going to tell that, but it's going to take a lot more than inspirational sayings and posters and uh, employee gatherings to change that. Because I still worry, as in the Bloomberg story, that one employee worked on the Cavalier, tried to whistleblow, and then a subsequent employee working on the Cobalt recalled that specific incident and said he's afraid to speak up because of that retaliation approach. So we'll have to see if that really changes. Yeah, I mean, culture does seem to be indeed a big problem here. Uh, how concerned are you the fact that American taxpayers were helping to support that culture through a time when uh, these uh, lack of uh, lack of communication, uh, the, the lack of communication was quite evident? Well, that's a question that it, it didn't seem, in terms of what they presented to us, was there specific evidence that they were suppressing or tamping down information while the whole issue was taking place about the uh, bankruptcy and the bailout. But it still is a grave concern for taxpayers that here we were being told about all these problems with GM, and if only they had more money, everything would change. Well, now, as it turns out, it really wasn't so much a money matter, but a culture matter. Uh, and perhaps a lot of these things uh, were going to take the company down anyways, regardless of money. They've got a lot to do here to convince the American public that everything's going to be okay. Yeah, of course, uh, the United especially States after we give them a lot of money. The United States government spent uh, nearly $50 billion uh, trying to bail out GM, um, only to now, of course, learn of all this. 20 million vehicles are being recalled, Congressman. Uh, how does the company move forward from here? W what do you recommend? I mean, clearly culture is a problem. Well, Ms. Barr, uh, when she came before us today, uh, presented, uh, I guess, a good leadership picture in terms of saying she's taking control. Uh, there'll be no excuses. Just continue to work with it. Uh, and make sure employees change. Uh, it's a big company, and so she's going to have to hold a lot of people accountable in that whole process. And that will be the key. If people understand that there is clear accountability, which there wasn't before, if uh, speaking up is rewarded, if shutting up is uh, not rewarded, then you're going to see a cultural change. But that's, that's a big lift. Uh, many companies have tried that before. Heck, the federal government has that problem itself with the Veterans Administration, with, with 300,000 employees, and it wasn't until whistleblowers spoke that maybe some Something will happen, but we don't know. Yeah. You have something that big is difficult, but but GM is going to have to answer its stockholders and its customers to make sure that changes. Now, there. do you think Mary Barra is really the right person to do that job? I mean, she has worked at this company now uh, for decades. She's been part of that culture. How can someone from within really change it? Well, and that's a, that's a point that I raised, too. Someone's been there for 30 years. You wonder if they know of any other culture to bring to it. If that's all you know, can you really understand where you where else you need to go and what other direction? Uh, we'll see where that goes. I mean, GM, I think, is going to have to bring in some fresh blood and not just, uh, uh, well, not just... Uh, 
you know, uh, cut blood out of the situation here too to really make that culture change. And that's going to have to be on multiple levels, not only very high up, but throughout the system to get people who think differently and are not just doing it with the GM not in a wing. Mm -hmm. What are you hearing from fellow lawmakers there? I mean, you're chairing this panel that's running this investigation. Uh, how upset really are people knowing that you know a lot of government went money went into to trying to salvage this company that was really on the brink? Well, they're very concerned about a bailout and maybe not being given all the facts at the time and would things have been different if we were told those facts. Second thing is finding out what happens with uh, the, the subsequent lawsuit settlements. Will uh, GM continue to push at the one time, say we want to have fair settlements, and at the other hand be saying that they want to uh, continue to block going anywhere else with this by hiding behind the bankruptcy charge. Uh, bankruptcy where they can't uh, go into more uh, set of higher settlements. Those are still inconsistencies, and we're going to continue to follow those up. All right, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much. Tim Murphy.